Well, we are back with some hot topics and some news real quick here. And we're going to share our thoughts on the migrant humanitarian disaster at the bridge in what part of Texas again? Uh, Del Rio border. The Del Rio border. And as you have all witnessed over the last several weeks, there were thousands, I think thousands and thousands of Haitian migrants at the border. And... Um, comment and share about this on our YouTube channel. And by the way, this is the F&G show. That's right. Over a glass of wine. Over a glass of wine. Yes. So let's talk about this for a minute. We're going to look at the video, then we're going to come back. Tonight, the camp that was once packed with 15,000 migrants, gone bulldozers working to clear the remnants near the bridge. There are no longer any migrants in the camp. The Homeland Security Secretary now detailing where the migrants have gone. The majority from the camp, over 12,000, released into the U.S. and asked to go to immigration centers to make asylum claims. 2,000 were deported to Haiti, and 8,000 migrants returned voluntarily to Mexico. Like Sean and his wife Jessica, now crossing back, fearing deportation. He says he's decided to come back and stay in Mexico because he's scared that they might send them uh, back to Haiti. They'll join hundreds still sleeping across the Rio Grande in Ciudad Acuña. Men, women, and families with children now under growing pressure to relocate away from the border. Meanwhile, President Biden addressing those images of Border Patrol agents on horseback. An investigation is ongoing. Of course I take responsibility. I'm president, but it was horrible mm. to see. I promise you, those people will pay. Now, one big question really? here is how long will the border bridge remain closed with people on both sides desperate to get the economy going once again? You want to start is, off this conversation? How long it's going to take for them to pay? Boy, I don't thought I saw that, boy. <laughs> see, if you live long enough, <sighs> you're going to see more. Mm -hmm. So you can't say that, hey, man, I've, I've seen it all. You ain't seen it all. No. Uh, reincarnated to the fifth power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dudes on horsebacks, man, chasing down folks. And using like the reins yeah, rains of the horse as whips. Come on, man. What, what was that telling you? What, what was boy? It's kind of a reminder of what they did in slavery. That's how they did uh, corral all the slaves. They used horses and whips. This is not new, ladies and gentlemen. This is something that has been done throughout American history. I remember when life was so simple. <laughs> it's not you simple. You did or you didn't. You <laughs> would or you wouldn't. Who is that? But it ain't like that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the whinings, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you know. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was a disaster. And... Everybody's going to have their two cents to say about Haiti. Um, but it was a bad look using the reins of a horse to whip people and chasing black people around on horses is despicable, inhumane, and a total disaster. And then they come, they let that, how many, how many of them they let in? 12,000. And uh, they asked them, to go seek asylum. <laughs> they asked them, do you really think most of them did what they were asked to do? Some probably did, and some was like that one dude was like, man, I'm going back to Mexico. Because they might try to send me to Haiti, man, and I ain't going to fool with it. So here's the history behind Haiti, ladies and gentlemen. Um, There was a general, I can't remember his name, in Haiti, because France, France had enslaved Haiti. So let's get this history straight. France had enslaved Haiti, and there was a Haitian general that defeated the French. I can't remember what his name is, and I, I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, you can look it up. But a Haitian general was seeking the independence of Haiti from France. Mm. He won the war, and Haiti uh, left France, and Haiti became an independent country without the control of France anymore. Well, here's what happened in the history that most of you do not know about. Why is Haiti so poor? So, there were documents that were signed after Haiti got its independence 
where Haiti had to pay back France billions of dollars in reparations for their independence. And so, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why Haiti is so poor is because France has raped them financially over the last, ever since they got their independence. So all the money in Haiti has been going back to France. And then you have the multiple earthquakes that Haiti has had. What do you think people are going to do? Haiti doesn't, it's a, Haiti is a complete disaster. Mm. There's nothing left there anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Why do you think they're coming to the border? They're trying to escape poverty earthquakes, and France won't pay them back the money that they stole. So what do you think is going to happen? Got any thoughts? What's going to happen is what's happening right now. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, I don't have any, anything to say. I just want to see how long it's going to take for them to get them jokers that was on that, them horses, man. That's all I want to wait and see. Yeah, we always waiting to see in America for anything to happen. Always waiting to see. I was in the government. It was always hurry up and wait. That was their motto: <laughs> hurry up and wait. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Yeah, that was that was crazy. Now you know, are they going to really get those guys here? You know, maybe not. I don't think so. So, any final thoughts on this? Well, my final thought is: Haiti, uh, France, give back the money you stole from Haiti, so they can have a country again. Otherwise, this is going to continue to happen. Mm -hmm. I guess that's a. A good note to end on. Mm -hmm. If there was a note being played. <laughs> <laughs> so that is it from us from here at the FNG show. The FNG show. Over a glass of wine. Over a glass of wine. And we are out. We are out. <laughs>